The universe breaks down into strings. I'm sure you heard of string theory, right? But anyway, what it is, uh, here you have, for example, a positive and negative charge. And this represents the blue shift nearest to the Earth, what we see, and the red shift. All right? What's going on in reality is you have this universe, for example, you have this wave being created, let's say, by let me put this over here. This is the blue shift, and this is the red shift, the furthest away from you. Now, what happens is you have this oscillating spin of particles. You have a, a particle here, and you have a particle here. They work in pairs, right? Now, these pairs, what happens is, when the particles move up and down and they spin, alright, like this. This is what you see. That's the blue shift, and the red shift is on the other side. So if you can imagine this, as this moves clockwise on your end, the other end, the further end, the red shift moves, as you can see, and moves clockwise. So if I move this clockwise, the opposite side moves counterclockwise. It's pair. You see? Here it is. So I watch the end. So this particle moves clockwise. its paired particle moves counterclockwise. When this particle moves counterclockwise, its paired particle moves clockwise. You see? So you have two frequencies here. Or it's a string. Sorry about the fre not two frequencies, but you have two particles working together. All right, you have a negative and positive here. One moves negative, one moves positive. This one moves positive, and the other one moves negative. All right, so that's how you get your blue shift, the blue light closest to you. Uh, and the red shift furthest away. This is your distance. There's no time. Alright. The light years. There's no such thing as time. All you're seeing is this uh, connection. This timeless connection occurring from a distance. Uh, so all you see is a length connection. The universe is not three dimensional. It's basically a bunch of uh, particles working in pairs like this and then the, the way the waves uh, comes into the picture is like this you get so as these particles are moving as this particle moves and spins alright like this it affects this one the opposite way alright and when this one moves this way, this one moves this way. They're connected. Right? These strings, the universe is non dimensional, it's non physical. They're just particles working in pairs. There's no such things as dimensions, there's no such thing as, as mass. So the universe, break, all it is is a bunch of frequencies that spin and are connected to each other, alright? 
and just like this, there's not this this invisible timeless connection between the particles is what creates our universe. Now as these frequencies move up and down the spin alright and this one we rotates the opposite way these strings as they go up and down they create a wave alright imagine this string for example as this string this string right here as this goes up and down it creates waves like this hang on not doing good right here, here. so as these particles spin down here it creates a wave uh, these move in, in string fashion these particles like you can see right here they work together one clockwise, one counterclockwise, and as they, this moves and spins, the, these these non-physical connections uh, create waves down as they move. So you have this effect you know, up and down. All right, right. as this spins and counter spins, and look this connection, this timeless connection. So you could have the red shift way over here and this blue shift way down here. This connection has nothing to do with time because there's no such thing as time. It's a timeless connection. All it is is a length. A simple length. A, a length is not three dimensional. Where, where does time come from anyway? Think about it. The only reason there's time is because the act of motion creates the act of time. That's all it is. And all we see is one frequency being created as it moves up and down, as it spins, it creates a wave pattern from negative to positive, positive to negative. So in short, what you basically have is this pulsing, this quick pulsing all right occurring this the, the spin occurring and this it creates this pulse up and down pulse so this pulsing it's just like a heart you know like the when you look at the uh, the heart heartbeat it creates a signal what you have is this pulse occurring as this spins and this creates this pulse it creates a wave as it spins as both particles work together All right. and this action creates the wave right here right here So you have this spin. Here you see the wave in my right with the string. And, and here you see the particles working together. So you, both of these are non physical. The wave is a probable state. Alright? And the left side, this right here, is basically the particles working together, creating a pulse. So there's no physical matter whatsoever. In any in any case, all you have is this action, motion, creating the wave. This is non-physical, two particles working from a distance. There's no physical connection. It's just a non-physical connection, reaction, motion, creating a pulse, which is creating a wave. So there is no such thing as matter. Everything, uh, the wave, 
the energy and the particles are both non-physical motion uh, properties. There's no, there, where's the location? There's no length. There is no dimensions. There is no time. They're connecting together. There's no such thing as mass. All you see is wave and action. Action, the wave being created by a pulse right here. Everything works in pairs, positive and negative, non-physical, creating non-physical. This is the wave, the energy, and this is the particles. There's no such thing as mass. This is all you have right here. It's an, it's an act of, <coughs> of motion creating the impression, uh, the illusion of reality. And there you have it, folks. There's no such thing as mass.